So today on my video blog unboxing, we have the XFX Radeon 5870. So this is the new, well the DirectX 11 card on the market right now. So that means if you want to run DirectX 11 titles, which are coming out on Windows 7, you will need a 5870 and the 5850 is actually coming shortly. So. As I said before, this is an XFX card, so even though it's using the reference cooler, like all of the 5870s at launch, you do get the benefit of XFX's 5-star support, which means you've got a double lifetime, modder-friendly warranty, and I'm pretty sure there are other benefits too, but uh, this is an unboxing, so we'll go with the unboxing aspect of it. Okay, I love this. I've seen this before with XFX's cards. It's a door hanger. Do not disturb. I'm gaming awesome. It also has a convenient little thing which has your part number and your serial number. So if you ever need to call XFX support, you've got all the info you need right there. Here's your quick installation guide showing you how to install the card in your system. Then you have a full installation guide which shows you how to install the drivers. So they're instructing you to use the XFX included CD, but by the time these cards are actually out there, you're going to want to download the latest drivers on ATI.com. So here's your driver installation CD. And then we have, oh, congratulations on your purchase of a new ATI Radeon graphics card. And you get a copy of Dirt 2, which is included, as far as I know, with all 5870 graphics cards. So let's see, let's do the accessory package here first. Okay, in here we have a Crossfire Bridge. Uh, two Molex to PCI Express six pin adapters and one DVI to VGA adapter. Now that brings us to the card itself, which you can see is incredibly well packed in here with all this foam. That's awesome to see. Okay, here we go. This is the XFX Radeon HD 5870. Now here, let's just start at the back of the card and move our way to the front. So we've got DisplayPort, which is an open standard, a lot like HDMI, except with HDMI, which we also have, you got to pay a royalty. Now, like all HD series cards for the last couple generations, you do get audio out via HDMI, so that's really cool. And then you've got dual DVI, as well as those other displays standard so you can actually run up to three monitors off of this card now here you've got your vents so let's uh, go around we'll have a look at the sticker design because the sticker design is going to be the major difference between all of the launch cards so you can see the fan here sucks air in from the back and from the top of the card and then exhausts it out that little tiny vent now that is a bit of a limitation of the design but there's not much we can do about it this has been kind of compared to the Batmobile in uh, in shape here and I think that's definitely an accurate comparison. It's pretty cool looking from the front. Up on the top, let's get to the uh, the no-nonsense features here. So we've got two PCI Express six-pin connectors. This is a very power-efficient card, so there's no need to go crazy and put on a bunch of eight-pin sort of connectors. When it's installed in your case, it's going to look a little bit something like this. you got your ATI Radeon graphics uh, logo thing here. And then on the back, we've seen this before with the launch versions of the GTX 260 and 280. We've got a full heat sink on the back cooling the RAM in addition to your back plate so I really like to see that too. This is a PCI Express 16X card and I think that pretty much sums up the Radeon HD 5870. Thank you for checking out my unboxing.